Welcome back to Beeline's Blueprint. Right, today we're going to look at what some of the great coaches in the Big Ten do to actually dial up their players, call plays either at the beginning of the game, at the half, out of a timeout, after a free throws, but in particular in the second half. In the second half of college basketball, you always have the offense in front of you. It's a great time that you can call plays right in front of you as the team is coming down the court. So there was a great game between Minnesota at Rutgers, came down to the last two minutes to decide the game. Both coaches dialing up some terrific action to get their best players involved in the game and ended up being a great win for Rutgers. We saw them run this same action for Miles Johnson in the first half. This time they see the mismatch on Marcus Carr. They call this a mouse in the house when you have a guy with a decided advantage over a smaller guard. They're gonna enter the ball to Caleb McConnell and there's the duck in right there. And then Mathis just can go over and put him in the basket there with a little jump hook, quick iso on the block, beautiful play call, beautiful execution. It's second half right now. You see Coach Patino, it's really six on five right now. He's calling the play. He wants them to just get a minute of a rest, no action at all. And now he, he wants Liam Roberts to come up and set this screen while Brandon Johnson rises up. So with the shot clock down a little bit at 10, here comes the ball screen. There's a hard hedge right now by Amori, but he beats the hedge, beats the man, gets the ball to Liam Roberts, but a tremendous defensive play there by Caleb McConnell. Great defense there by Rutgers. They go to the double high post again, a little bit of a pinch post run him off, and this is really a triple screen right now to get Baker coming off for a shot. So you can see that McKay sets the first screen, Brian Harper sets the second screen, and then Johnson's really setting a dribble screen with the third one. McConnell's gonna see that Marcus Carr is staring at the ball. So when Marcus Carr is stopped seeing McConnell, he's gonna back cut, beautiful little bounce pass, basket. This is called a roll and replace, a simple one. Your primary job is Marcus Carr is looking for Liam Robbins rolling. If he doesn't have that, he should have stopped his dribble, hit Brandon Johnson at the top. He tries to shortcut that and go all the way over the top. Ball's deflected, and it's a steal and a foul. We're running the same type of play they just ran, but with some different action to try and eliminate the double team by screening Miles Johnson first to get his man off him. It does not work, he fights through the screen, he's a really good defender, and now they're essentially gonna double team Marcus Carr until he lets go of the ball. Liam Robbins sees that he needs help, so by hitting him there in the shortstop, right in that area at the foul line, now it's gonna put Ron Harper Jr. in a fix right here where does he go back to Johnson, does he stay with Robbins, He's not sure what to do, and he just gives up a layup. Now we saw this ISO earlier for Ron Harper Jr. This time they're gonna dive Miles Johnson and give a driving lane right now for Geo. Minnesota does a great job of defending, but now you're in closeout situations everywhere. They lose track right now of McConnell. Big time shot in a big time situation. They're going to come back and run the exact same play to the other side. They want to make Joe Baker go to his weak hand. He obliges them while Miles Johnson gets his man out of there by diving underneath. I think right now Gio wants to be admitted to Step Back University, so he took this opportunity to show me his application. And I think he may be a, a really good candidate.